to me like, Timo, where's the beer? <laughs> anyway, because we did our first tour in 94 with uh -huh. Dream Space in Japan. Mm -hmm. Well, I was still singing. So, singing. Yeah. Where did you give up on it? And where did you, when, when did you say, let's get Koti Pelto in here? Well, that was the, that very tour, 94. That very tour? Yeah. I guess something happened along the way? Oh. I have to tell this because it's so funny. Go ahead, man. So, we fly with Lufthansa to Tokyo and we got so fucking drunk. We drank all the beers from Lufthansa plane. <laughs> <laughs> there's no more beer, no more beer. But there was a crew and everything. So, and a drummer, Tua Molassila, the founder of Satovarius. I remember this. He thing. was so drunk, he was crawling the aisle to me like, Timo, where's the beer? <laughs> so we, we go to Tokyo and there's like fucking 600 people on, on Narita airport waiting for us with teddy bears, candies, whatever. All sorts of shit. We never, we never knew. We never knew. I was there two years before. I saw it, but this was bigger, you know. So we had three gigs. We had Tokyo, Osaka, and Nagoya. I was singing, but I was a rock star. So I was drunk one week. A whole, a whole straight week. Yes. And how was that? I couldn't sing nothing. So I was like. <laughs> That's where the famous sentence was, sing with me. I said always, come on, sing with me. The so, you know, I, I was so drunk the whole week. And then uh, the JVC guy in a bullet train yeah. says to me, next to me, like, we can, because they are so polite. They don't want to hurt you. So they're like, Timo, we can keep the level if you want. But if you really want to go up, you need a singer, you need a singer. And I couldn't agree more, you know. And you know, I have to tell this story because the first time I met Koti Pelto right. was in 95. Right, right. I bought an advertisement in a Finnish music paper, two guys answers, Koti Pelto and another guy. Uh -huh. and Who's the other guy? Who is a fuck? So, <laughs> so I, I knock his door Right. I knock his door, Timo's door. The door opens and I see this beautiful guy with the long blonde hair. Like, I, see, I say, fuck man, this, this guy is fucking star already. How he looks like. So I go in and he plays me one of his songs. And I still remember the song. Which one was it? Do you remember that? Another day, like Dream Theater. Five notes. I hear five notes. Him singing, five notes. Uh -huh. And I say to Timo, "Look, man. You, you have everything I've been looking for as a singer. And you know what he said? Can you please listen to the whole song? When we came to South America in '97, yeah? the first time to yeah? Brazil, in, to Recife. Mm -hmm. So." We come to this beach because the festival was at beach. So we go to this fucking seven star hotel, whatever. So we go to the hotel, we see the whole beach. There is no stage. <laughs> we hear hammering. These guys were building a stage. Mm. And we were scheduled to go at 1 a.m. We ended up at 5. And Andre Matos was there and he said, it's normal here in Brazil. This is what we do. Yeah, it's what we this do. is it's our shit. There's nothing wrong. Yeah. So I play Will the Sun Rise. Will the Sun in Rise. In the Pacific Ocean. When the sun fucking rises. <laughs> I saw it. I played the reef and the sun was coming up. It's amazing. It's one of the best memories of my career. Wow. Yeah. We're I play about, Will um, the Sun Rise when the sun actually is rising. As a matter of fact, let's talk about Purno Rock. So yeah. the the, yeah, man, come on, let's let's go let's go by time here. Fuck. So and and, no. and 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 I know what happened to you that time. I know what happened. I know the background story. But I think everybody in the world needs to know what happened. But also hear your side of it. What happened, Timo? Come on. Well, I was manic, of course. Because you don't invent stuff like that if you're not manic, right? So 
I wrote the fucking script like a Hollywood with, in word. Like this week happens this, next week happens this, everything. I wrote it. I sent it to the band, they accepted it. So we went through all of it. They, they accepted it. So what yeah, happened there? Jens was the only one who was with me. Jens was with you? Yeah. I guess because he pissed on you, so that's why. <laughs> he pissed on me on forever. <laughs> what happened to I feel so ashamed of this, but. Go ahead, so brother. I, 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 I printed the shirts to all the guys. Like black shirts with white letters. Okay. My shirt was Jesus is coming. Uh -huh. In the back, Jesus is going. Je <laughs> <laughs> I did this. What was the other one? Uh, Jan said, I have AIDS. <laughs> and Yari had, fuck me. <laughs> so the whole show was planned. Right. So I come to the stage and I drink vodka, which was water. I had Stolishnaya bottle with water. Okay. And I come to the stage drinking this water. And everybody sees me, of course. And I go to the mic and I say what everybody thought, what the fuck is happening. I say, que coño pasa? Que coño pasa? Que coño pasa? The Spanish people. Right. And you know what, was the, what they did? They started throwing me with ice cubes, coins, everything. They started attacking you? Yeah, big time. Wow. What did you do afterwards? This was the essence. This was the... That's what I wanted, you know. That was the stunt, you know. That was a stunt? Yeah. What did you want to get out of this, Timo? Publicity. Uh, publicity. Yeah. You wanted to let everybody know that... We, uh, we got publicity. You sure did. So because they told me, we had a server in Finland. They called us, what are you doing? Everything is collapsed. There's like a million people visiting the, the page. So... <laughs> What the ha what's happening, you know? And my brother was the web, web designer at that time. Right, right, right. So he wrote all my statements, like, I'm in my library, which I never had. I'm in the library, and Kabbalah book falls. And I said, it must be Jesus. It must be Jesus talking to me, you know? So wait, Timo, <laughs> so let, let's take this by steps. Because I know, th I know this incident. I actually made a, made a video for it, which you can find on our channel. But let me ask you something. So you, you got, did you get stabbed? Never. It was one here and like a punch or something? No, it was, was it? Uh, I think it was. You had, you had like a band-aid right here. Like a yeah, 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 you're right. It was somewhere episode. here. So, so, somewhere here. Somewhere here. So it was a makeup artist in Helsinki. And you had an eye patch too. No. He, Supposedly hit me to the face. Okay. So he made a black face with the makeup. And when we f flew to this porno rock, w which we called porno rock. Porno. Yeah. It sounds like porno. Every time I read it, I was like, we said man, por porn rock. I, I, go to that I always said porno rock. So, yeah. so we, we go to Lufthansa plane and the fucking engine blows up. The other engine. So the captain says, Everything is okay. We have to return. And there was a fire brigade and everything when we landed. Right. And we just changed the planes. Okay. So we go there and but all was planned beforehand, before the festival, you know. I'm going to put on, we're going to put, after, with post-production, we're going to put on this picture on there. But I want you to tell me this one, man, this one. I want to know, what the fuck was that red liquid? And are you a real Kabbalah follower? I mean, it was just... Fucking stunt, you know. I don't follow Kabbalah or fucking anything. I'm not religious at all. You know. I just did it to entertain people. Right, right, right. Know. And Kabbalah thing and Miss K, I just she got in touch with me by email. Uh huh. You know, and I told her we have this thing going on. So if you are our singer, I give you so much publicity in Finland that you can do your solo record which I will produce. It was obvious that you could bring her along, have her for like a quick minute, and then she could have done her own career. Because in Finland, obviously, you are 
We recorded the album. Huge. I recorded the album. You so. recorded this yes. album? Yes. You have this album? Yes. I need to listen to this album. Miss K album. Which yes. which album was this? No, it's never released. Never released. No, but I have was the it song. Stradivarius songs? No. Miss K songs. Miss K songs. Yeah. Because because what I really did was to provoke people. Right. I wanted to direct the hate towards me. How w why would you do that, Timo? Why would you direct the hate towards you, my friend? Because why? Of, because of United. We yeah. should always forgive, right? We should. Yeah. yeah. So I wrote the United song to be like the anthem of after what everything was happened, that we are back together with everybody. So, but what I did not understand is I could not take the hate. So I was hospitalized in 2004. I collapsed. I had a nervous breakdown. And Miss K was there in the pictures like this with the blood. She was like that. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And that's what I wanted to tell the fans. Like, She had know. a heart too. She had some bullshit. Like, remember, do you remember that picture? Fake blood. It was fa I'm sure. It, but she uh, had, we, she we was signed, like. Ugh. We had a big contract with Sanctuary Music. Yeah. Which we signed with blood. And everybody was saying, how can you sign a contract with blood? I said, I bought it. The, I bought the fucking blood. It was in a can. Yeah. <laughs> the so Halloween store. Just, yeah. Yeah. You know, man of shit. Right, right, so, right. And I could not believe the amount of hatred they generated to me. And in the end, I could not take it. So I collapsed, which was the best thing that ever happened to me, you know. Did you say it was the best thing that happened yes. to you? Yes. Okay. Because my neurotic structure had to collapse because it has to in everyone. We all have that. Yeah. You know. And when you are really honest with which you have to be to yourself, it collapses. It's like a old building. You break it down and you build a new one. Right. You know? And that's what I did, you know. And slowly we got back together. We played in Gods of Metal in Italy. We started doing these shows. I felt really bad still, but we did this black album of Stratovarius. Talk to me about that album. That that yeah. is uh, uh, an album that I definitely like. I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was a big change from Elements. Elements had Elements Part One and Two are my favorite Stradivarius albums because I believe you yours too. Yeah, yeah. I think you reached a, a peak. You reached the peak of production. Yeah. Songwriting level. Um, Jörg Michael. Imaging. Jörg Michael in the studio. He did this to me like. I, I, I love you, man. He rubbed your head. Yeah. yeah. I love the drums. What did you do? All I ever wanted to be was here for the people with my music, my emotions, my thoughts, you know. Because I don't want to dismiss Scotty Pelt, who is a good friend of mine, but he was never like me. He was always more reserved to the fans, you know. Right. And I, I said many bad things in press. And I apologized him one year ago in Helsinki. I, I went to Timo, you know, I saw the guy after the concert in Helsinki. I hugged him, I said, Tim, I'm, I'm so sorry what I've said. You know what he said? He said, apologize, accept it. We hugged and we cried. And then we took the photo. It was a million likes, million likes. You know, Have you guys together? Yeah, all of us, the whole band. The whole band. Yes, everybody: Matthias, Rolf, Lauri, Jens, Timo, me, everybody. Are you guys coming back together? We will. You will? Yes. When? Three years. Well, we we need you. We need you to be together. Three years. In three years, yes. Stradivarius will be back together in three years, yes. Timo. We're going to do one album and a world tour with two lineups. We, we're we're going to play all the classics. Because you see, we did like three DVDs. We did Sao Paulo, Milan, and something else. And it never was there. Right. Always something happened. Right. So there still exists nothing with me with the classic lineup. You know. So they know, I, I told them. 
And we have to do it for the fans. Of course, for the fans. Yeah.